It's a very great honor to be here to join family and friends, associates, and the global community to celebrate the life and times of a great Nigerian and definitely an African colossus and a man who by his scholarship and practice made global impact in medicine. We've heard, of course, that he was the first professor of medicine in Nigeria, first head of the University College Hospital in Badon, the UCA, the first president of the National Postgraduate Medical College of Nigeria, the Emeritus Professor Theophilus Oladipo Obulesi. It must be very difficult indeed to find a Nigerian who has contributed more to establishing the medical profession in Nigeria and indeed scholarship in medicine in Nigeria. With a long list of research achievements, he built a department and a teaching hospital along with others that became a reference of excellence in Africa and the Commonwealth. He was the founding director of the Ibaraqua Community Health Program, which became a model for primary health care interventions in many parts of Africa and the precursor of our celebrated national primary health care system established by Professor Ulikoi Ransom Kuti. Professor Okulesi lived a life completely dedicated to public service. He had strong values as in her hard work, selfless service, transparency, and propriety, doing things properly. In 2021, he asked to speak to me, and I called him, and he complained that his pension was no longer being paid. And he wanted to know who was responsible, the agency responsible, and why. As the conversation continued, I teased him, about the fact that certainly he didn't need the pension. And he said, yes, true, I thank God for that. But we must do things properly. How can anyone work for so long, for so many years, and still be deprived of his pension? And I am pleased to say that we were able to sort the matter out. And after that, I spoke to him again. And he reminded me, he reminded me, that he was only one of many who suffered as similar problems around their pensions. And that I should do something about it. I believe that he reminded me at least three times about doing something about pensions. The life of Professor Ogulesi and those of his ilk challenged this generation to live up to the high values necessary to build people, to build institutions and our society and to live lives that are defined by achievements that contribute to the common good. He said himself in an interview that he gave in 2017 to the This Day newspaper, and I quote, he said, but to me, real wealth means being fulfilled in the assignment God has committed into your hands, and being able to put smiles on the faces of other people who are in need. I'm not a businessman in the Nigerian sense of the word, but my lifelong business has been and still is to take care of the sick, promote health, and prevent sickness through health education, and to help the poor and the needy as best as I can. End of quote. Professor Ogulis's life and times tell an important story of a time when the Nigerian elite the academia, business, and even the religious elite believed enough in the nation and its potential and were proud of her and worked diligently to build it. He was the founder of the first and first president of the Baraka Community Health Program, as I as as said. And I think it's important to mention that this service was almost entirely voluntary, trying to develop a healthcare system almost from scratch, a system that would be that would be able to cater to the needs uh, to the health needs of the poorest in the community. But I think what must give us all the greatest joy is where he is now, 
That depends, with all due respect, on a man's relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We are glad that he knew the Lord personally and believed in him. And he said himself at the age of 94, in that same 2017 interview, and I quote him again, he said, God Almighty has been my best advisor. He is my master, best advisor, and best friend. End of quote. There's no doubt in my mind that he knew the Lord Jesus Christ. He served him as we've heard through his life until the end. And so we're proud and pleased that today he lives eternally with the Lord Jesus Christ. On behalf of the President of our Republic, President Muhammad Buhari, the government and people of Nigeria, I express a sincere condolence the government to the family of Professor Oladipo Ogule, the governor and government of our state, Ogun State. And I pray that his memory and legacies will remain forever blessed. Amen.